back to my channel. Okay, so today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be filming a what I eat in a day during the summer. I've been wanting to do this video for like a long time because I think I did a what I eat in a day a long time ago on this channel, back in like my little deleted videos that are no longer with us. I've been wanting to redo it. I'm like in the most awkward position ever right now. And I figured today would be the best time because I'm going back to school next week. I want to do a what I eat in a day in college and I wanted to do one that's like in the summer before. I did want to give a little disclaimer saying I'm not a nutritionist nor a health specialist expert so anything that I say eat do in this video like don't take it to heart. I try to eat healthy nine times out of ten. I'm gonna really try especially today for the purpose of this video. Especially during the summer I feel like I'm more cautious about what I eat really because it's summer and you're wearing skimpy clothes and bathing suits and all that. Stuff. I really have no idea. I don't I don't have anything like specifically planned so I just woke up well actually I woke up a long time ago it's currently 11 40 and I haven't put anything in my body all day I usually always get coffee and all that before I get ready but for the purpose of this video I just woke up and got ready really quick and now I'm ready to start I hope you guys enjoy this video if you're not already be sure to click the subscribe button down below and give it a thumbs up I personally love watching videos like this I catch myself watching them all the time if I'm looking for any kind of motivation to eat healthier I just feel like they help me but I don't know I just wanted to make it it's fun and I like watching what other people eat too because it gives you ideas so let's get into the video okay so the very first thing that I have to have to start my day is Thrive Pills please sponsor me I've been using these every day for like three years so they come in little packets like this they come with two pills so if I'm really tired or I have a big day going on I really like to take both of them I used to always take both of them but I try to narrow it down to just one now pause I would typically drink like a whole bottle of water. Like usually I roll over out of bed, take my Thrive Pill, and then try to drink like a bottle of water before I even get my day started. Um, I drink water pretty much all day long. That's never really been a problem for me. I've always been a water girl, so I don't drink soda and things like that. I don't really drink juices. Water for me is not a problem, and I know that's like a big weight loss tip if you didn't know that, and you're supposed to drink so many ounces a day to your body weight. I probably honestly go over that because I have an issue. Also, so right after I pop the therapy pills, I like to pop my biotin pills. These are just for your immune health, your protein metabolism, cell energy production, and it supports healthy hair, skin, and nails. So I think those are just good for you to take. So I just pop one of these every morning. I've already been drinking a little bit of water this morning, so I don't have to drink like the whole bottle right now. I have been awake for a little while. Next step of my morning breakfast routine is coffee. I literally can not go a day without it. If you guys have been subscribed or watching my videos for a little while, you know that I'm a huge iced coffee addict, that I drink iced coffee all day, and that I'm very against hot coffee. To your surprise and mine, starting last week on vacation, which is so weird because I was at the beach where it was 90 degrees, I started started drinking hot coffee because I was drinking two and three cups a day as my stepmom and my dad were making it like in the coffee pot and I usually do Keurig and I started to like it so I've been drinking it hot just because I don't want to wait on it to get cold. I'm trying to do like a lot of weight loss right now and so warm stuff is better and so I've been drinking it hot so I have this morning blend. I'll show you like exactly how I make it and what I put in it. I'm going to put it in our little Keurig which needs water. And I always click the biggest one. Also working on a workout routine video for you guys right now. I've been filming it all week just so I can kind of hit every single muscle throughout the week and I don't have to film like several different ones because this isn't a workout channel. But I thought it would just be fun to throw some things like that on this channel because I know you don't want to see like my everyday life every single video. So I've been trying to branch out and do some other things. And I know you don't care about that because this is what I eat in a day and that's what you're here for. In my coffee, this is literally any time, whether it's hot or cold, whether I'm at Starbucks, making it at home, anything. I always, we have this little bag of Stevia. Sometimes at Starbucks, I'll do like Splenda or something like that. I will usually just take a little spoon about this size. How do I make this focus? 
So it actually looks like a lot more on camera, but it's not even like a full spoonful. And it really like dissolves weird into this when it's like super hot. And I just mix that up. And then on top of that, I always put cinnamon. And I think that's really good for you. Cinnamon is just good for you anyway. So I kind of try to get that in my diet through my coffee. So it's super hot and I won't be drinking it yet. But another thing that I do every morning, actually not every morning, but I do it about four to five times out of the week. Right now I've been doing it more because I just started doing it again for the first time in a long time. It's actually super good for you, especially if you're trying to lose or maintain weight. And obviously you guys have probably heard about it, but the apple cider vinegar and a cup of water. But since I did drink my bottle of like water, cause I probably drank half of a bottle of water this morning and now I've drank half of a bottle taking pills. I'm probably just gonna use with the rest of this and then just like a small teaspoon or something of this and put it in a cup. And you can do it hot or you can do it just like room temperature, whatever. I feel like hot water gonna like burn more fat, but I don't feel like actually putting this in the microwave and drinking hot coffee also. So I'm just gonna do room temperature. So using a glass about this big, I don't even measure it anymore. I used to. I've always been the type of person that can drink a lot of vinegar and it doesn't bother me. I just kind of fill it up around the bottom, just like that much. And then I'll probably pour the rest of this water bottle in there to lessen the taste. Sip on this throughout the morning. That actually doesn't look, I might put just a little bit more of this. That's pretty much my morning drinks. Well, bottle of water, apple cider vinegar, and then coffee with stevia and cinnamon in it. Just black coffee with no creamer. I'm back and I've pretty much got through all this and I'm about to start on the coffee. But I will say one good thing about doing like a bottle of water and then all these liquid is it does fill you up so you don't have to necessarily eat as much, especially in the morning. Like I know people say a big breakfast is like the key to a high metabolism if you're trying to do intermittent fasting or anything like that then I would recommend like a lot of liquid in the morning I'm giving you tips but you probably don't care you're probably just here to see what I eat let's get into that let's do breakfast at literally 12 o'clock I don't know why I started this video so late today I didn't really have anything planned like I told you guys so I'm trying to find like the best lighting but I don't want to put the tripod in the sink this, what I'm about to make, is pretty much my everyday go-to breakfast. It's not what I eat for breakfast every day. If I just need something to eat for breakfast, I don't feel like coming up with anything cute or any crazy breakfast, so I don't want to like make something extravagant. This is always really quick and really easy and really good. Start making it. <laughs> A lot of times when I do make this for breakfast, I'll alternate between using regular eggs and doing scrambled or fried or doing just egg whites in a little liquid thing like this, and so usually when I'm trying trying to lose weight, which I'm trying to, not really trying to lose weight right now, but I'm trying to like tone up and slim down. So I'll do the egg whites instead of the actual eggs because that's a lot of protein. And I usually do protein before and after I work out. And since I'm not working out until in the evening, I will do the liquid for now. But if I were to be doing a morning workout, I'd probably do the actual egg with the yolk. So this is what I'm gonna use. And I will just pour it until it covers the pan usually about like that it says that three tablespoons is 25 calories so that's probably about accurate with what i'm pouring in there i don't really know nor care okay and then i like to put this red pepper it literally doesn't have anything in it on the egg whites just to give them a little bit of flavor and then i'll show you the finished product and that's breakfast <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. It's a few hours later now. It's almost four o'clock, so I'm ready to do lunch. Everything is like so behind because I have started my day so late. But I made this the other day for the first time and it was actually super good. So I wanted to make it again today solely for the purpose of this video because I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was cool. So I do this dairy-free yogurt and the Chobani. I used to do the silk or whatever it was. You know what I'm talking about. But I just recently found this and personally, I think it tastes better. This is the vanilla flavor. So what I'm gonna do is dump the whole thing in this bowl. I'm basically gonna make like my own version of an awesome, I, how do you even, acai bowl. But without the acai, kinda, I don't know. I'm gonna put it, <laughs> And then I like to take these black chai seeds 
Also, I wanted to apologize for my lack of energy today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think it's because it's been raining ever since I got home from the beach. I have no energy. Typically what I'll do is just take like a couple spoonfuls of the chai seeds and fill them in the corner and I'll show you the bowl whenever I'm done with it. But whoops, I just spilled them. When I made this the other day, I used apples. I don't think I wanna do that today because it kinda took away from the texture. It was just like I was eating apples instead of like everything else. And then I like to put this in there too. So it's just oatmeal, but it also has raisin date almonds, so multigrain, dried fruit, nut, and seed cereal. It's got 210 calories for half a cup. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the chai seeds and put like two spoonfuls on the other side of the yogurt. So we have yogurt, chai seeds, and then Okay, I did a little bit more than two spoonfuls. So I've decided that this is all that I'm gonna put in here, which is kind of still a lot. Just dairy-free yogurt, chai seeds, and the oatmeal cereal. Okay, y'all, please don't hate me, but I kind of cheated on this video. I wanted to give you like the most accurate what I eat in a day in the summertime video. And the day that I filmed the first half of this video, I forgot that we were doing Ella's birthday party here at my house. And that was completely inaccurate because I went from like eating really healthy all day to eating the junk and cake and brownies and all that. And I was like, oh, I don't want that in this video. Because when I watch these videos, I think I said it earlier, I like to use them as motivation and to get ideas for healthy eating. And that I was not healthy at all. So I was like, you know what? I'll just pick this up like the next day. It's actually like two days later at like the same time frame and then just like finish out the day as I would have had we not been doing Ella's birthday. So that's what we're doing. Please forgive me. I just got home from the gym. I wanted to show you guys this, what I've been drinking as like a protein drink because I have not had my protein powder. I usually use this organic vegan protein powder and that is usually what I do like either before or after workouts or sometimes I'll substitute a meal. I've been drinking just like this little cup size of this after my workouts and I just found it and it's like non-dairy plant milk protein. It has 10 grams of pea protein, non-GMO, and 50% more calcium than dairy milk. It is super good for you. It's vegan, obviously. I mean, just like, it has like a lot of good things, and it's actually like not bad. It tastes pretty good. So, I don't want to drink a lot. It's got 110 calories for 8 ounces, so I just kind of drink like almost a full cup of this as a little post-workout snack probably the last thing that i'm gonna eat until dinner and then i'll probably do like a little snack after dinner because i'm actually going to my dad's house for dinner today but they usually eat really early like around four and i usually eat like around seven so we'll definitely have to do something after that so yeah please forgive me for the little break in days on this video but i wanted to make it a little bit more accurate Okay guys, so Rob has come up with a recipe. Healthy pizza, I suppose you could call it. So I just wanted to show you. It's zucchini with pizza sauce and vegan cheese and pepperonis. It's really cute. <laughs> Okay guys, it's a different day. I'm clearly back in Tuscaloosa, so it's like a very different day. But I realized I forgot to end this video and I'm actually posting it today. So I wanted to just film a really quick outro and say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button down below. I don't remember if I said this or not already because that was so long ago. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.